Oh my goodness. So the Federal Communications Commission Chairman Julius Janachowski is reclassifying broadband as a transport service. And you're all sitting there and we care why? Well, it's all about getting your weekly fix of HD Nation without having it arbitrarily slowed down because, say, super mega company that does the internet prioritizes other packets over our video, like their video on demand service that you know, slows us down. Or the feed going to the Roku, Apple TV, your TV box, TV, TV box, I think is what we're calling it these days. Whatever. It's, it's that whole everybody's packets should get treated the same net neutrality thing. The FCC, well, you should explain I, this part. I was going to say, so we are seriously pro net neutrality. It's the way the internet was uh, set up in the first place. And the FCC, which lost a court case brought on by Comcast, over the FCC's right to ensure Comcast, oh, to right, censure Comcast, excuse me, for blocking P2P back in April, has decided it's going to make sure it has the legal grounds to enforce an open internet. Mm -hmm. That was really that was really what confused me. It's like, why wouldn't the FCC support net neutrality? And they it's like, do. Well, they do, or they want to, they but do, do they have they, a legal right to enforce that? Yeah, and basically, a long time ago, the FCC said, we're not going to classify this as, as a, 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 basically, we're not going to classify broadband, or I should say internet ISPs, as something we're going to regulate. Now they're basically taking that right back. How long this will be open for public comment, or how long they're going to fight over this in Congress, or more importantly, how much power or juice the corporate lobbyists that have the ear of so many of our elected representatives, well, what they're going to do, it all remains to be seen. Um, it's going to be interesting that the FCC has basically said, we are going to regulate broadband, we are going to classify them so we can regulate them, and now the political mayhem is going to start. We're not going to talk about that except to say that we, we want our packets to get to your home quickly and quietly and safely. There's really good information up on this uh, on the Wall Street Journal, uh, gigaohm.com, and well, by the time this hits the street, Google it, there'll be a billion articles out there. All bits should be equal, at least yes. in terms of transporting them around the network. Except for spam. Maybe. Maybe. Even spam is equal? In a free world, everything <laughs> the price of free speech. Let me deal with the spam. <laughs> anyway, hey, Roku has a new Netflix interface coming in June. Roku says the nifty new interface will automatically add itself to your machine. You, you'll be able to, one, search the entire Netflix instant streaming library from your TV screen. Yay. Number two, browse and play movies and TV shows on your TV via our new, their new at least, immersive user <laughs> interface. Three, add movies and TV shows to your instant queue for watching later. Nice. Now, if they just add a search for HD, quote unquote button, that was, that's really <laughs> that's what I'm That's the button for. I want, yeah. That sounds like everything that the other boxes have. Mm -hmm. Good to see Roku getting updated. Yeah, Roku's stepping up on that one. Nice. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hey, if you're thinking about buying a Roku box, whether it's for Netflix or Revision 3 programming or the unbelievable Major League Baseball package, do us a favor and buy it at revision3.com slash Roku. It, it'll make people happy. Yeah. <laughs> Star Trek fans rejoice. $9.99. That's $9.99 for Star Trek Blu-rays. Not last year's Star Trek movie, but say Wrath of Khan, First Contact, Undiscovered Country, The Voyage Home. All for $9.99 at Best Buy through May. Yes. Best Buy shirt on and all that. Yay. <laughs> it was coincidence. Purely coincidence. Purely. Um, we need less power. Scotty. Thank you. That's all I'm going to say. We need less power. <laughs> hey, May 1st, 2010, the EPA's new Energy Star 4.0 came online. It replaces Energy Star 3.0 and pretty much halves power consumption, the maximum power consumption for said devices. Uh, a TV, say a 50 inch TV that consumed 318 watts, well, the new 4.0 standard would cap it at 153 watts. And lest you think the consumer electronics industry is going to suffer, Energy Star 4.0 is more of a catch-up than a mandate. Uh, PC World reports that the 2010 models for Panasonic, Samsung, Sharp, Sony, and Vizio are all Energy Star 4.0 compliant. And I happen to know that there are a few LED TVs and LCD TVs based with LED technology that are already Energy Star 5 compliant. <laughs> and because of the new stringent standards they're setting in California, that's a good thing to see because then we're not going to have any problems with these newer TVs coming out. So, so yeah, if you're not in California, You'll find One out. One thing about to keep in mind, though, about these Energy Star ratings, they are with the settings at with the TV as you would take it out of the box and set it up for a home environment. When you hit that first menu on all of these TVs, right. you're going to see a menu that says, "Is this for a store environment or is this for your home environment?" You have to select that home environment to get these kind of power consumption things. If you set it to the vivid mode or the, the super bright mode, uh, just ignore everything I just said. You, you watch that meter spin up a little faster. So this is for Energy Star certification. Yeah. Do I have to have Energy Star certification to sell an HDTV in the United States? I don't believe that's a requirement at all, right. but 
it is such a thing that we're all sort of used to seeing now mm -hmm. in products. I don't know of any TV manufacturer who doesn't want that sticker on their right. box, and the, which is, in my opinion, a good thing. It keeps them on track for reducing power consumption, helping out the world in terms of a power consumption. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> or lowering it. <laughs> no, it's not a requirement, but everyone's doing it.